Did I just lose balance? What? All right, so I just got the Atlas Pro after like three months of waiting. This is like, it, it's kind of like my Christmas. I feel like it's Christmas already. Kind of a, a mess back there, but uh, <laughs> you can see it. This is the only board I brought today because quite frankly, it's um, the only board I'm gonna need. Probably the only board I'm ever gonna need, but I also said that about the original Atlas. So, so along with the obvious extended range the Atlas Pro comes with, it's also faster. I believe the original top speed of the original Atlas was around 30 to 31 miles an hour. This one is around 40 bald eagles per freedom. It is, it is way faster. I mean, it's like 10 bald eagles faster, but it, it, it's faster. 10, 10 miles is like fast enough to really make a difference. I feel like a lot of the boards I ride now have a top speed of around 25 to 30 miles an hour. That's kind of become the standard. I remember uh, my original board was the Flex. I don't remember what the top speed of that board was, but whenever I first got the Atlas, it was, it was, it was so fast. But now like after riding the Atlas Pro, the normal Atlas just feels kind of slow to me i have already unboxed it obviously you just saw it i've already ridden it so far i've been able to max out at about 32 miles an hour which means i can make it go about eight miles faster so i'm gonna try that so one of the big advertised things about this is the brand new app which i have right here and i have not tried yet so i'm gonna go right here it's called um it's called xscape and i don't even know how to connect it i'm gonna figure that out right now oh wait 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 maybe i am connected never mind never mind yeah i think i'm connected so it says i have 7.4 miles on here already i think that sounds right and it can track my ride okay my current speed and my everything okay all right the last thing I need is my helmet and we're good. I'm gonna ride not holding the camera at first just cause if I biff it, I don't wanna break the camera. Oh my God. Okay, so 26, 27, 30, 30, 32, oh, 32 miles again. I have no idea if it's because my wheel set up or if like I'm just not full sending it enough. Okay, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, I got to like thirty-four or thirty-five. So I was just like four or five shy of the top speed. I'm not sure if these wheels are good for or bad for speed. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna set this down over here. So maybe I can go faster if I don't have the fear of having a camera in my hand. I've got to hit 40. <laughs> that is literally my goal, is to hit 40. Okay, so I think when I minimize the app, this just kind of stopped tracking my stats. It has my writing time, but it doesn't have my average speed or anything. Okay, I'm gonna try this way. Leaving the app open. I have to leave the app open for it to like update where I'm going and everything. And it's updating very weirdly. Just my current speed. Kind of sucks. I can't do it with the app anyway. It's a pretty cool tracking app at least. 
Like at least I can use a, an official X-Way app now. Okay, I'm gonna end writing. Kind of not helpful. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Play. What's this do? It just it just animates a little cursor along the line. Okay. I feel like if X-Way made their app a little more like this, the right app. This one gets like your top speed, your average speed, literally everything. That's what I need. All right, I'm actually testing like several new pieces of gear in this video, including this like GPS tracker, except I don't think it's been going the whole time. So um, if there's a speedometer on screen, that means it worked. If there's not a speedometer, that means this thing kind of screwed up on me. Anyways, I'm gonna try tightening the trucks a little bit. I mean, I feel like my trucks are perfect right now, but I do want to like max out the speed, so I don't want to risk getting speed wobbles. I tightened the trucks like a tiny, tiny bit because they were already perfect. Let me see if I can get anywhere near 40. Okay, I don't think that really helped. I'm going to take this to the road. Hello, Buffy here. 35, 36. Oh, okay. I could have still pushed that more. I had a long enough runway there. So I feel like this can definitely hit very close to 40, at least 39, 38 or 39 miles an hour. The bald eagles per freedom. It, it could definitely do that. Speed wobble. I actually, I just rode out a speed wobble. How the fuck did I do that? That felt really weird. Did I break it? That felt really weird. Why did I spin out like that? Did I just lose balance? What? I'm actually kind of scared now. I'm still trying to figure out why I got those speed wobbles. I mean, obviously it's because of speed and wobbling, but I kind of felt like it felt like it wasn't my fault. I don't know how to explain it. That was scary. I'm like really scared still. I'm heading back to my Jeep. I think that's like the last of my speed test for today.